Now, Channel 3, early warning weather. I would definitely say New England is in the path of an active weather pattern. We're going to see more activity. The question is who is going to get snow on Monday and who's just going to get rain? That is def Connecticut is definitely going to be on that line of where multiple things are going to happen in just a tiny state. But before we get to that, we are going to be anticipating much colder temperatures for the upcoming weekend. Friday, mid 30s going to be a great day next couple of days just fine but then Saturday morning starting off in the single digits it's a cold afternoon for Saturday Sunday morning also starting off with potentially single digits lower teens and then it'll be slightly warmer in the afternoon and what's important is that the weekend is great for travel you're good to go for whatever you need to get done this upcoming weekend you just might just need to stay pretty warm the storm is going to be on Monday we know that but we don't know the exact timing and the exact track of this upcoming storm system so this will continue to evolve but as of right now it is a good bet that a lot of us will start off with snow, even if it's a brief amount of time for Monday morning. The Northwest Hills sticking on to snow for the majority of the day on Monday, but a lot of places are transitioning from snow over to rain. The I-84 corridor and along the shoreline, you, you guys might not even see any snowflakes on Monday. It might just be all rain throughout Monday, and that's going to be primarily in the morning Monday into the afternoon. Again, subject to change. This is still a long way out, but it looks like as of right now, most of Connecticut would be spared from the snowstorm that is anticipated for much of the Appalachian chain. Old Saybrook looking at some dim Sunshine right now turning out to be a very nice day across the state and look how much, uh, much grass is uh, out right now. So a lot of the snow melting along the shoreline. New London looking at 41 degrees right now. Southwest breeze of 26 miles per hour, which might be tolerable right now. But once the sun goes down, it that breeze is going to be a lot more noticeable. So it's going to be substantially colder after sunset today. 34 degrees right now in Windsor Locks. We're looking at also some of that grass starting to peep out there. Temperatures across New England are chilly for sure. Only 21 degrees in Portland right now and we'll definitely take 37 degrees in the at the moment in Hartford some 40s along the shoreline and still hanging on to freezing temperatures in the Northwest Hills and as far as that wind speed goes it's noticeable out there it's not nonstop in Hartford but along the shoreline definitely noticing that and you know everything's good right now but we are anticipating more cloud cover and when we have uh, you know the sun going down the breeze and also tomorrow with the cloud cover it is going to be feeling pretty chilly out there so we got the sun for today and then we're going to trade that sunshine tomorrow for more more cloud cover, especially in the morning. And then I think we stick with at least thin high cloud cover for the majority of Thursday. So we'll call it a cloudy day for tomorrow, but we're not anticipating any rain or snow until we get to this upcoming Monday. Low temperatures tonight dropping into the sub freezing zone, mostly cloudy and not as cold. So, uh, you know, if you were burning a lot of firewood last night, you probably just don't need quite as much for tonight. We'll call it seasonably cold for tonight. And the seven day forecast is going to bring us much colder temperatures for Friday night and also on Saturday night. So another Arctic front coming our way. It won't be quite as cold as it was on Tuesday, but pretty close for Saturday. It's a cold day coming up 29 degrees on Sunday. And then with a high temperature of 32 on Monday, we're expecting a variety of precipitation across New England, and we'll be tracking that next storm system very carefully um, through the next evening with Mark Dixon coming up at 4 p.m. Thanks, Connor. And